scoot up for a second and let's talk. Yo, DJ, roll that beautiful champagne footage. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, where the bubbles are crisp, the secrets are smoother than silk, and the gossip flows like the finest champagne. Big up yourself, Empress. Glasses up to the streets that never sleep and to the secrets running deep. Let's get it. Champagne Secrets. Welcome to Champagne Secrets, baby. Come chill with me, the Empress, in the Secret Chalet, located in the Champagne City, for some grown discussions and bubbly banter. Over here, we get classy with a twist, huh? a little clink with chaos, huh? <laughs> so if you're ready to sip, savor, and spill, then come on in. And if you're a non-alcoholic kind of confidant, grab your non-alcoholic bubbly and get in here. <laughs> on your way in, hit that like and subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop a new show. For today, I am sipping on, you already know, Moet and Chandon Nectar Imperial Rose. You see it. So I wanted to try something a little new for my channel. I want to start beginning my videos with a word of empowerment for my confidants. So grab your glasses and raise them high. Always remember, you are a sparkling gem, complete and magnificent, just as you are. Don't let anyone dim your shine or dictate your worth. Embrace your uniqueness, your quirks, your dreams. They're what make you irreplaceable. So raise a glass to yourself, sip on that confidence, and let's toast to the incredible journey ahead. You are the author of your story, the captain of your ship. Chart your course with courage, resilience, and unapologetic authenticity. Cheers to embracing your brilliance. Now let's get into this baddies tea. <laughs> so we open up with the entrances, right? So we have Mariah Lynn, Scotland, Entertainment Tonight, T, Rowley, Natalie, or as I call her, Natalie. <laughs> But hey, this music she came into, <laughs> life. <laughs> DJ Sky, Smiley, Biggie, Tasiki, Anna, Camila, Sky, Suki, Sapphire, and then we have Janisha and the woman herself, Miss Nene Leaks. Now for my top looks for bad entrances, right? Uh, E.T. with her cat suit, but I really wish her cat suit would have been black with a gold and diamond waist belt like dropped around her hips. She really would have ate this look. I mean, because always bet on black, right? <laughs> then we have T. Hi, my name is T. <laughs> and have y'all seen her cartoon on her channel, The Powerful Holes? <laughs> But I really do um, like T's look. I love the way the color accentuates her skin. See, a lot of people don't realize that the clothes are supposed to make you pop, not you make the clothes pop. It's not just about having a name brand. The outfit is supposed to pop because you're in it, not the other way around. And I really liked her hair too. Then I have Natalie. She came out giving me Harley Quinn vibes with this look. The pink hair, the black coat swinging, the music in the background, the um, blowing of the smoke. I love this look. Um, then you have Sapphire. I loved her hair and I love this army green color outfit on her skin. Uh, honorable mentions would be Anna. Um, she should have worn this outfit on stage. It gave laid back but stepped up, you know, especially with the makeup. Tasiki, because the outfit was cute and so was the makeup. I do understand her hair was pulled up. It wasn't done yet. 
and then Scotland. I don't like the hair, but the outfit was cute. You know Scotland is going to give body. <laughs> Worst look goes to DJ Sky because what is this? You took a play out of Krishan's playbook and came out in underwear. You didn't even try, Sky. You didn't even try. <laughs> So the scene opens up with Natalie, Suki, and Sapphire hugging. I mean, whatever. Flashes to Biggie in the trailer and Smiley comes in. You can really tell Big, Biggie ain't really feeling it. But Smiley is asking her if she's ready for the family reunion. Biggie looking at her like, girl, please. And tells her, you be thinking that we all family. Uh, it flashes to Roly and E.T. talking. And Roly is asking E.T. how it feels to be back. E.T. says she's a little nervous. Uh, well, you know, she challenged everybody in House B, so she got a lot of putting your money where your mouth is to do. <laughs> she says that she has people she's going to get that nobody knows about. She also says that House B said they're going to jump her. Roly said that's not going to happen. E.T. says she's going out with a bang, and Roly says she's going in with one. So we flash to Sky on a... Mariah Lynn and T. Sky says her coat is giving Tickle Me Elmo <laughs> and is. Mariah asks if any of them have anyone they need to address. Anna says E.T. and Roly. She said Roly because Roly called her a witch and she said that Roly is a big back mountain. <laughs> she said E.T. because E.T. says she's scary so now she has to fight her. <sighs> what y'all think? Y'all think E.T.? can take Anna or you think Anna can take E.T. Like drop in the comments and let me know what you think. <laughs> Flashback to Biggie and Smiley. Smiley said um, that some of Biggie's confessionals hurt her feelings. Biggie said it's not really about them having a problem. It's about her playing victim and making everyone look crazy. Smiley goes on to say that she doesn't know what she did or um, didn't have she doesn't know what it's called it, y'all Biggie asked her uh, what the doctor said and Smiley said she didn't know Biggie called her a liar and was because how in the H-E double champagne bottles do you not know what the doctor said it's giving lying acting Academy Award goes to <laughs> Scotty comes into the trailer with Rolly and E.T. Roly asks her what's going on with her booty because it's growing and growing every time she sees her. Come on now, Roly. You know. You know. <laughs> the Lemu probably spearing that fish from the back. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> E.T. asks Scotty if she's ready to fight because she has on her ponytail. I wonder if the Lemu likes her in ponytails. Things that make you say, hmm. She says if anyone's coming at her like that, she's ready, basically. But it looked like the conversation caught her off guard. Roly says she wants Biggie and Camila. She says Camila needs to find a surgeon to get rid of that kangaroo pouch. And Scotty tells her to stop being mean. Roly, everyone doesn't want to be a crash test dummy for bad botched body rides. They don't. Everyone doesn't want to be filleted like a fish, sis. Just because you went and tried to have two of your three tires removed, Michelin Man, doesn't mean others aren't fine with their roles. Some people actually like themselves. Maybe that's some ish you need to learn. Roly says she's not hugging or making up with anyone. Basically, it's up. Now, I'm not going to lie. A lot of people don't like her look, maybe because they don't like her, but I actually think this is about the prettiest I've seen Roly on this show. The makeup, the lashes, the hair, the color. I actually like her look. The short hair probably was a smart thing, <laughs> given all the ish she was talking on the social of the media. Um, she left nothing for the people to grab onto, so I like it. She came dressed regular, like she's going to watch the Zeus basketball team, the Lemus play basketball or something. <laughs> So, flash back to Mariah, Sky, T, and Anna. Mariah said she had to take off her dress because it was expensive and let her take herself out of Mariah Land International Superstar. Mariah. Now, Mariah. 
If you were that international, you wouldn't be on Zoo, sweetie, because you wouldn't have time. Zoo speak gassing these girls up. <laughs> I don't understand. Just say you didn't want them to destroy your dress and leave it there. International superstar child reaching. This show got this girl thinking she is Mariana or something. Mariah Leonce or something. <laughs> she says she tired of the smiley stuff. She says she wants to um, keep coming for her and not the chick that actually choked her out for the chain. She says she thought Suki and her friend was her friend and she was hurt by what she said online. Y'all have to stop using that word so loosely. Did y'all check y'all a friend meter gauge like I told y'all to? Because y'all clearly still don't know what a friend is. Then she starts going into what the others had to say or what she had to say about the others. And Mariah, th this was about you, not them. You should have kept it at your story, your story, your story, sis. This is why they say you're fake. So then it flashes to Natalie and Suki and Sapphire and Natalie is telling them that Mariah never wanted to fight and she was really hurt. Suki says people don't really want to hear the truth about themselves, but that's that's Suki's problem as well. She doesn't want to hear the truth unless she's the one that's telling it. And Suki, you came in with someone who doesn't want to hear the truth. So then you'd have to turn to your side and stand on that too. Suki tells Natalie when her and Scotty were fighting, Mariah said weird, and did, she did. It was weird, it was weird as hell. But again, she wasn't addressing you, Suki, so you inserted yourself into something that had nothing to do with you. And this is what I mean. These girls pick and choose their beefs. They don't stand on it with everyone. Roly inserted herself into your conversation with E.T., and that's how y'all got into it. Why didn't you stand tan behind that? Back to house B. And T says, itches with a B talk ish every day. If someone says something, she'll address it, and if not, she'll sit back and collect her check. <laughs> they say they're all standing on business. Sky says it's about to be some ish while she smokes on her ganja. <laughs> Sky done spent this entire season high, or drunk, or a combination of the both. I don't think she's had a sober moment this entire season. So... We flash to Natalie and she's telling Suki and Sapphire that it never goes the way they think. She says everyone thinks this is their last time to shine and goes crazy. And do. Um, flash to Biggie and Smiley and Biggie's telling Smiley um, that she let her go down by herself. She asked her why she didn't go to the club with the tennis shoes on instead of heels after she got a paper handed to her stating that she needed to get out. Biggie says she asked Smiley when they hopped out of the truck what she was going to do and Smiley told her that she was going to get her, apparently talking about Roly. She said she walked out and smacked E.T. and Smiley did nothing. Smiley says she didn't know what Biggie was going to do. She didn't know she was going to hit her. Biggie told her she lied because she told her what she was going to do. Biggie continues on, didn't I tell you to smack that itch with a B? Smiley says, but who are you to tell me to smack somebody? And here comes the smack heard and felt around the world. Watch this in slow motion real quick. So now I understand the whole situation in the bedroom after they was handed those eviction notices. They picked on you. Now they're picking on me. Let's get them together. But you itched up, Smiley. But this is the chopped and screwed editing that I be talking about with Zeus. Because why wouldn't you show why Biggie was that mad at this girl? Instead of making it seem like she was just trying to bully her. But I get it. It was a build-up for the reunion when everything is supposed to come out. We get it now. But this is why I say you got to be in tune with your star player in the words of Cat Williams, because you should never be in a situation where you don't know whether the people you're with will move with you or move for you. But for me, my word is bond for real, and I expect anyone that I'm close to to move accordingly. So if you tell me you got me, and you let me go out by myself, yeah, we got problems, sis. 
Biggie was probably told to save it for the reunion, though. I wouldn't put that past Zeus. But to come in my trailer acting like everything is all good, knowing how you played me, well, Smiley, you should have thought twice. If we're supposed to be Team Go, then we're Team Go. What do you mean, you thought? Well, now, think about this. <laughs> and she gave her something to think about. Smiley asked her, is she dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Like 30 times. Biggie said, everybody can get smacked on my mama, nigga. <laughs> so they're running to Smiley, asking her what happened. Now that the cameras are there in Smiley's face, she want to put on the show. This girl needs a movie deal. I promise she do. She on the wrong show. <laughs> Smiley needs a whole role because this girl can act her ass off. I'm not saying she wasn't angry, but all of this over-exaggerating child, bye. Camila looking at her like she's been possessed and she leaves. Look, look at her. She made sure the cameras were on her. She looked right at it and then started to really cut up. Now she want to climb over stuff and they trying to hold her back. She fighting security. She punching the cameraman. They're holding her back. <laughs> Siki enters Biggie's trailer and she says, um, we don't have to wait on the stage. She want Roly now. She says, bring Roly to her. Biggie is turned. <laughs> she says she don't want to wait for the stage. She wanted in her trailer. Biggie says she don't need a stage moment. Then she goes on to show uh, to Siki the shirt that she had made for her. And I hollered. How do we go from with the shits to shirts? <laughs> Biggie says she's tired of itches with a bee thinking they can keep playing with her. She tells Siki about the situation that just happened that caused her and Smiley to get into it. We flash back to Smiley and she's still acting a damn fool. Camila is trying to tell her, girl, you're losing a lot of blood. Let the medic help you. She says she wants to go. Then she punches the TV. She starts kicking the mirror. Girl, what the mirror do to you? You got smoke with the mirror now too. I guess you mad at the mirror because it didn't help you when Biggie slapped the lies out of your mouth, huh? <laughs> she bleeding everywhere. Now, I don't know about y'all, but it's too many diseases for her to be slanging blood everywhere. No, sis, you got it. <laughs> I would have left her in there with whatever damn demon she was battling with. Let me know when y'all work that out. Now she fighting the medics. Y'all, <laughs> the Oscar goes to. This girl needs a Zeus Award for Best Actress in a reality show series, like for real. She starts trying to bite the medic. What in the Hannibal Lecter hello Clarice is going on here? You can clearly see this medic is laughing at her and I would have been too because too much, too much. Flashback to Biggie and to Siki and Biggie asked Siki uh, about her situation with Krishan and the fact that Krishan wanted $200,000 for one day now. See, I thought when they were talking about this in the blogs that she wanted $200,000 to come back and do another season, not to show up for the reunion. Like, girl, bye. This is the problem. Zeus makes people think they're bigger than they actually are. She said Zeus invested in her and Zeus protects her. Siki basically said that's dead and look who we're talking about. And I think this is something they really could have left out because at the end of the day this is a family matter and I don't know if I would have been comfortable discussing somebody else's sister no matter what was done and I agree what Krishan did to her sister was fucked up it was but you're giving her a moment when she doesn't need one in my opinion uh, Camila comes in and she's talking to Biggie about the psycho destroying everything Biggie basically don't care. She she ready. Biggie on go. She ready. Camila talks about Roly coming at her, knowing she just had a baby. But she's been big since her whole existence. So now we have Janisha and Nene. Nene said she started looking at the episodes, and she's like, oh my. Janisha, uh, Janisha tells her the girls really turn up. Nene says she a little scared. Now y'all know, if any of y'all really know Miss Nene Leaks, 
Y'all know Miss Nene Leaks was not scared. This was all for TV. Nene been and gave them girls the ass whooping they mama should have. <laughs> Janisha, Janisha said, why can't I say this girl's name? Janisha said she thinks they'll be respectful because of who Nene is. Janisha said something that I really agree with. A baddie needs to know when to be a lady too. But these girls just want to throw hands. Facts, Janisha. Because there's more to being a baddie just than just being able to fight. I'm going to say it over and over and over again. That is not what a baddie is. But Zeus has everyone gassed up to thinking, you're not a baddie if you don't fight at the drop of a hat. No, real baddies know how to think. They use their brain, not their fist. But anyway, they flash to the studio uh, and they bring out Natalie, Mariah, Scotland, and Skye. Nene thanks Natalie for having her and Natalie thanks her for coming. Natalie tells them about the smiley trailer being full of blood, but it's okay. Janisha says, um, this is some of House A and Sky jumps in immediately and corrects her and says, but I'm from House B though. <laughs> Good check real quick. Put some respect on our house. <laughs> Tasiki, Biggie, Anna, and T come out. Y'all, who gang did Biggie go and join after the season? Because I felt like any second she was going to yell out on schoolyard. <laughs> Biggie uh, is the season's MVB, most valuable baddie. Um, Anna said Biggie deserved it. Janisha get, goes into the situation with um, Anna and Scotty. She asked them what the real issue was, and you can tell by the look on her face that she really wanted them to say something. She wanted them to put it on the floor. <laughs> But you know Scotty ain't going to be able to say in front of that man's main itch what the true champagne secrets are. Now y'all know, Janisha was trying to air out all that business on the national. <laughs> Scotty is smiling and this is the most conniving smile I have ever seen on this show. That smile said, do you really want to know? <laughs> Anna is asking her to tell why. They were really into it. She really egging it on. Nene is asking why. Scotty says because she's disrespectful. And I'm starting to think the word disrespectful is cold for the Lima. <laughs> because Natalie said disrespectful to Scotty when they got into it. Do y'all think this is their cold word? <laughs> Anna and Janisha is pressing her um, to tell what the disrespect is. Scotty keeps saying, you're funny, child. We know. We know. We know why it's funny. <laughs> Nene asked them if they knew each other prior to the show, and Anna said yes, they know each other through Natalie. She said that she was supposed to be on the show, but it ended up being between her and Scotty, and Scotty ended up getting the spot. Um, Y'all, this is the quietest I have ever seen Natalie on this show. Why she so quiet? She ain't said a word. <laughs> Janisha said they just don't want to talk about it. So then they get into the situation with Krishan and uh, Anna, and Anna said that it was because the fans brought up a comment that she made about some dumb ish that Krishan was doing. They played the video, and Nini asked Siki how she feels about it. Siki said in the beginning it was up, but when she got around them and she found out what really happened, she was like, you want me to do what I do to people over that? Nene asked her how she feels about her sister not being there, and she said it was a smart move if she, if she wasn't coming to apologize um, for what she did and said, then she was getting evicted, and I really don't blame her, I don't. When you know what you're capable of, you don't have anything to prove. Everything isn't about proving something, it's, it's about knowing who you are, and fuck everything else. Je uh, Janisha asked her if she was supposed to come on the show and take care of who Krishan had a problem with basically and she said no it was only to make sure that no one touched her they flash back to the situation on the bus when Siki got jumped and I don't like that they rehearsed this so much at the end of the day this is family this is a family thing but Zeus trying to show the world that Krishan is the problem in all of the, these situations 
the sad part is this girl really messed herself up. She could have really just kept climbing and climbing, but now she's falling and falling because you let the fame geek your head up to the point now you almost have nothing. And it's really sad. Um, she said, Tasiki said that Krishan was her best friend and she doesn't miss her, but she does. It's hard not to miss family when family does you wrong, but sometimes you have to choose you, even if it means walking away from what you love to do so. That's a message. So they get into uh, Natalie and Camila. Natalie says that she was glad they were able to move on after they fought. Camila says that it was a long drawn out beef and social media blew it out of proportion and she loves her and it's a sisterhood that will last forever. <clears throat> Excuse me, and they hug. Um, y'all, why Camila dressed like she just got off cell block C? Like she was on Wentworth or something? Like, what's with this whole get up? Like, the hair is cute and the makeup is cute, but, but this outfit looks like a Michael Myers special. I, I, I don't like I don't. Janisha asks T what she has to say because she's quiet. I don't think T care. I think she's just there to get her check and go. She said that she let everyone talk about their experiences. Janisha gets into her issues with Scotty. She says she thought her and Scotty were going to be cool, but she realized they weren't. And then she said she thought it was just for a storyline. Her and Scotty gets into this screaming match about child whatever Nene announces that they're bringing out E.T. and Roly, and the girls stand up Siki getting ready she done pulled the bottom off that dress like a damn flamingo dancer baby <laughs> E.T. and Roly walk out and here we go E.T. kicks off them shoes and charges full throttle and Natalie damn nine flips her chair completely over jumps on her. You got Roly and Biggie playing patty cake. Biggie running from Roly. Biggie. Biggie. Now, Biggie. Well, how you running, sis? How? This was your opportunity to do your girl. They laughing, saying I love you. What in the Wrigley's Believe It or Not is going on here? I don't, outside of the whole fight with Siki and E.T., which we all knew was, what the hell, is, what is all, Anna running from Roly with the bottom of Siki dress on like it's a damn cape, you got Biggie and Anna holding hands and running across the stage, you got Natalie trying to get an E.T., E.T. talking about, you didn't check on me, now, now gotta give it to E.T. because she's the only one I have seen bold enough to come in Natalie. (laughs) Bravo on that one E.T. I might not have liked your behavior the rest of the season but that right there gave you a few little redeeming points in my book. But then you have E.T. and Siki shaking my mother freaking head. Siki giving her face shot after face shot. E.T. missing. Then I see she flipped E.T. And Lord Jesus, it looked like Siki might have went down too. Y'all, Siki was eating them licks like they was Jimmy Dean's, baby. (laughs) And of course, it cuts off right there. So we're not going to get the rest of the fight until next week. But y'all drop in them comments and tell me what y'all think of this first baddies reunion episode it gave me life honey it did it it was more than it was expected for this first one but i can't wait to see part two what y'all think confidants before we go i'm gonna give you a sneak peek to my new channel inky noir champagne mysteries for all of my true crime buffs and murder mystery enthusiasts So go on over and check it out. But always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Now raise those glasses, clink, and let's drink. Till we meet again. Ta-ta.